Okay, Scott, state your name and what you do. Uh, Gregory Scott Jones, and I'm a science writer for NSF, for a partnership between University of Tennessee and National Science Foundation. Uh, it's a supercomputer called Kraken that is the, currently the eighth fastest supercomputer in the world. And what inspired you to choose this line of work? Uh, originally, I loved writing my entire life, um, but I wanted to be a scientist too, but I didn't want to be so specialized as to, do, as to study one field my entire life. So I thought my love of writing and science would let me cover a lot of science. And what made you choose... Um, or, sorry. All right. Don't mind me. <laughs> What's the best bit of advice you've ever received? I think the best bit of advice I ever received was don't let criticism get you down. Because both in science and writing, criticism is very heavy, and you have to deal with it on a daily basis. And if you take it to heart too, too much, you won't get anything done. What was your first scientific experiment as a child? Uh, it was a dinosaur diorama. <laughs> if that counts as an experiment. If not, then I did the, cl more. the classic volcano. I think that's my second one. Yeah. Excellent. What's your favorite thing about being a science writer? Um, probably just the amount of science I get to cover. Um, everything from astrophysics to biology to materials. If you like science, you get to cover it all. And what do you think is the most important characteristic of a successful scientist? Um, for us, I would say someone that can take in a lot of information and synthesize it quickly. For a scientist, at least for a science writer, um, you have to be able to really read and comprehend very efficiently. What are the scientific benefits of the science at Kraken supercomputers? Um, so Kraken, the benefits are almost impossible to explain in totality. It does everything from more efficient, uh, actually climate weather studies for better weather prediction, um, astrophysics, what created the universe, um, more efficient, uh, more, better materials for your hard drive. Um, it really is across the entire spectrum of our daily life. Who had the most influence in your career? Probably my grandfather, who gave me books and taught me science from the day I was born. And what about your field surprises you? The rate at which it moved, supercomputing really 10 years ago was one one thousandth as fast as it is now. And in two to three years, it'll be the supercomputers will be a, um, an order of magnitude faster, and it's probably only going to get faster. If you could remove one thing from a burning office or lab, what would it be? Probably my degree. Uh. <laughs> I worked too hard for it. <laughs> And what kind of music do you listen to? Rock and roll, anything with guitars and drums. Excellent. Thanks, Scott. Yeah, you're welcome.